Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a love reading on the new newlyweds, okay? Um, Jenny Ma and Jeezy, Jeezy Jenkins, <laughs> who is now Jenny Ma Jenkins. <laughs> Let's see. Let's um, check in on their love. I know they're newly married, so this should be the best love reading you ever seen, right? Let's see. Let's see if we can learn the truth. About Miss Jenny Ma and Jeezy. I think they're a, a cute couple. I like Jenny Ma. I think she's a nice girl. I think she's so cute. Okay. And I don't have a problem with Jeezy. So let's see. Hopefully, this is a beautiful love story that we're about to see right before us. Okay. So, Divine Angels, could you please give us the best three cards to describe Jenny Ma Jenkins and Jeezy Jenkins' um, love reading? Love. Okay. Best card for Jenny Ma and Jeezy Love. Okay. We have a card. Okay, let's, let's see. Best card for Jenny Ma and Jeezy Love. One of the best three cards from this deck. All right. We have playfulness, okay, to recapture romance, allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, that's good, because they do have a lot of fun times together, okay. You see them riding on bikes, you see them dancing in the car, listening to music, so they're very playful towards each other, so that's cool. Let's see, the next reading we have here is, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, okay, okay. What is the next card for Jenny Ma and Jeezy? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, awesome. Okay, that's nice. So let's get some clarification on these cards here. On the playfulness, we're going to end with nice this playful card here for Jenny Ma and Jeezy Love Reading. Well, can you tell us about this playful card here for Jenny Ma and Jeezy's Love Reading? Playfulness. Why is the playfulness card here for Jenny, Ma, and Jeezy? Okay. The Ace of Summers. It speaks of open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Okay. So it's like they, um, you know, while they was being playful, okay, and in, in the moments of being playful, they kind of struck up some romance in their in their um, relationship okay and it's almost like they allowed their inner youthful spirit you know to kind of shine through their, their, their childhood you know to kind of come through um, for their relationship because it opened up their heart to love okay it because they both seemed kind of serious before this relationship okay well Jenny and Miles always seemed kind of fun but Jeezy always seemed serious okay so while he's in a relationship with Jenny it seems like he's more playful he's having fun okay and the process is kind of opening up his heart you know and it speaks of a intimate relationship okay and having spiritual epiphanies all right that's cute Okay, let's find out why it's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Why is it safe for them to love here? For Jenny and Jeezy. Why is this? Okay, there we go. We have this card here, which speaks of the King of Autumn. Compassion, accomplished, charismatic, gifted. Okay, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way. A good person or company to work for. All right. So, it says it's safe for them to love in this situation. Because I know Jenny just got out of a relationship. And, you know, who knows if Jenny just got out of one. Probably still in one when he met her. But, I mean, I'm not judging. Okay. So, it says it's safe for them to love. They need to open up their heart and give and receive the highest energy of love. Okay. By being compassionate, accomplished, a charismatic, and gifted. Okay. With the king here, it's like, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Stand for what you believe in. Everything is going your way. Okay? So, they feel like, you know, that, you know, they're in good company when they're with each other. Okay. That's nice. Okay, let's find out. This could be the one. Why is this could be the one here for Jenny, Jenny Mai, and Jeezy. 
This could be the one. Why should this could be the one card here, Divine Angels? The Jenny and Jeezy. Love reading. Okay, so this could be the one. Just didn't. There we go. Okay. Six of summer. Children or childhood. The return of people or romances from your past. Remembering events differently in a worse or better light than how they actually occurred. Okay. So, okay. Divine is saying this could be the one. Okay. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay. Because this card speaks of childhood or children. Memories uh, from childhood. Okay. The return of people back into their lives. From their past, okay, that they may be, you know, remembering the situation a little differently than how it actually occurred, okay? All right. So let's get some clarification on those cards. Okay, let's find out more about this Ace of Summers. What can you tell us about this Ace of Summers card here for Jeezy and Jenny's reading? Love, love reading. Why is this Ace of Summers here? Okay. Okay. These two cards popped out, so we'll go ahead and take them. Okay. We have the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands. Okay. So it says be playful here. It's like, okay, so we have the High Priestess here. The High Priestess is, you know, very mature. Okay, she has all the information that she needs. She she only gives a little information at a time. She gives you what you need, you know, for the for the time being. She's not gonna give too much, okay? But even though she has a lot of information to give and she knows a lot, she doesn't give. She gives her information in doses, okay? Um, you know she you know she's very on this card. She's definitely fabulous, fabulously, fabulously dressed, okay? She's very knowledgeable, okay? But the Knight of Wands. It's kind of uh, coming in all fast, you know, in a rush, you know, holding his wand, okay? You know, maybe immature, okay? Doing the most, but he's very passionate about what he does. He comes in with passion, okay? Even though he's young, okay, and, and, and immature, okay? But he still comes in fast when it comes to the high priestess, okay? It's, it's like he knows what he wants. He's very passionate about the high priestess, okay? And because he is young, okay? And, and when I mean by young, kind of like maybe immature compared to her demeanor, okay? You know, it's like they kind of feed off each other, okay? It's like he allows her to be playful and fun, okay? And he feels like he can be playful and fun with her because of her personality, Okay, and that caused them to fall in love because they both were showing each other a part of each other. Um, they both were showing, you know, it's almost like they was giving each other what they kind of needed at the time. You know, when Jenny's going through a divorce, she kind of needs somebody that wasn't being too serious, that was having, you know, somebody she could take seriously, but that also allows her to have fun and enjoy, you know, herself. You know, have fun on Instagram, pretty much. I don't think her previous husband allowed that. Or I wouldn't say he wouldn't allow that, but he just didn't do it. So, it's like they feed off each other, you know, with the playfulness, okay? So, that's that's cute. Okay, let's say, it's safe for you to love the King of Autumn. Why is the King of Autumn here? The King of Autumn card here. Why is that here for Jenny and Jesus? Love reading. The King of Autumn. Why is that here in this reading? Oh, Okay, we have the Nine of Swords here. Okay, so it's saying it's safe for them to love. Okay, they have to open up their heart, you know, and receive the highest energy of all, you know, because they was both probably looking for somebody who's compassionate, accomplished, you know, charismatic, okay? And um, they want to be able to express their love, okay, in the truest form because, and previously, they've been hurt, okay? Somebody here has been hurt bad by love, okay? Maybe up all night crying, Okay, a lot of pain and suffering, you know, you know, from a previous relationship. So, which made it kind of hard to love and or, or open up yourself to love. Okay, but the divine is saying, you know, it's safe for you to love with this person. It's safe for you to open up to this person because 
it's like they started they be, they relation off with the playfulness and opening up their heart to love, which made it safe for them to love, okay, um, in this path right here. It made it safe for them to love because they found out that, the, the, that their partner was compassionate, okay. They both were, were accomplished in their life, okay, and they were charismatic. They were fun, okay, and they felt like they could be honest with each other, okay, because of the previous hurt that they had, you know, Usually it's hard to let that wall down, but they found it easy to do with each other early on. Okay, let's see here. Let's find out what we can find out about this. This could be the one, the Six of Summers. Why is the Six of Summers here? Okay, it speaks of death. Okay, the ending. Okay, this could be the one. Okay, so it says to return the people of romance from your past. Remember events differently. Okay, and it's like people from their past, they put an end to that. They put a death to that. To anybody that's coming in from their past. Okay, because, you know, they were saying like, okay, probably saying, Jesus was probably saying that Jenny could possibly be the one. But, you know, he may have been still dealing with people from his past. Okay, maybe still entertaining people from his past. Okay, but it's like he put a death to that. He put an end into all of that because he felt like, you know what, this could be the one. This is the person that I can probably see myself spending my rest of my life with. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. What can we pull now? Let's pull from this deck. Okay, let's see. What can we find out more about this high priestess? Okay. Let's see. Let's pull more on this high priestess. What can you tell us about this high priestess card here in GC and Jenny's reading? What can we find out about this high priestess? Why is this high priestess card here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have hope. Okay, and this card speaks of hope and love. Okay, it's like this person is sitting here. Okay, and it, this could represent both of them. Okay, because they were sitting here, one person holding a heart shaped rock, while this person is holding a heart shaped balloon and floating on cloud nine. Okay, they're both in emotion, they're both in their feelings. Okay, when it came to this relationship, they were both in their feelings. Okay, but they was giving hope to this because of this relationship. They they had hope and love. Okay. Yeah, the high priestess definitely. You know, she saw that this could be somebody that she can see a future with. What can you tell us about this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here in Jenny and Jeezy's love reading? Can you tell us about this Knight of Wands here? Okay. It speaks of a new start. <laughs> this person right here looks like, okay, it has a zero, new beginning, a new start. Okay. Home sweet home. It says home sweet home here. Okay, so he came in fast, okay, on his, on his horse with his one, with his passion, with his fire, okay, being very fierce. Okay, he came in fast with this relationship, okay, because he saw this relationship, you know, he probably was, you know, probably getting kicked out somewhere, you know, um, having, you know, troubles in his previous relationships that weren't going nowhere. And then when he met Jenny, it's like he saw a new start. He saw that he could call, he felt at home with this, with Jenny, okay? So that's why he rushed in so fast to her. He felt like, you know, this can be a very good start, you know, something that he probably never experienced before, okay? Something that's new to him. The feeling that he was um, getting with her, you know, he felt, you know, yeah, because you see this a mother kicking the son out of the nest uh, so he can start his life. It's like he grew up. He was able to, it's like he kind of manned up when it came to this relationship. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's find out more about this Nine of Swords. Watch this Nine of Swords here and just, and Jenny Ma and Je Jesus reading, love reading. Divine Angel, can you tell us about this Nine of Swords? Why is this Nine of Swords here? Ooh, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot, that's a lot. Let's start 
Chicago. Why is this not a source for Gina and Pisces love reading? What can you tell us? Okay. <sighs> okay, so it speaks of nostalgia. Okay. You know, memories. Okay. Thinking back of the past. Okay. Um, their past. Because of the past. Past love. Okay. They, um, there was some hurt there. There was some hurt, maybe only in both parts, but I'm thinking, when I'm looking at this card, I'm kind of seeing is Jenny, okay? She's thinking that, okay, you know, um, I'm thinking back, you know, on the, all the hurt that I've been through, okay? Uh, maybe the rejections, maybe, you know, the past relationship that didn't turn out as well, okay? And she's thinking back of the memories of that, okay? And... And it, and it hurts, okay? She's thinking of the hurt and the pain. But a part of her feeling like, you know, he's different, okay? he I'm, I'm judging him solely on his characteristic, okay? Him being compassionate. You know, he's accomplished in his life, okay? He's very charismatic, okay? He, he has, he's gifted, you know, in what he does, okay? Um, and she felt like, you know what? And I could be me with him. And I can have fun with me. I feel like he's a good company. He's a good person to be around. Good person to be with. Okay. So she felt like, you know what? I'm going to open up. Okay. And, and open up to love. Okay. When it comes to this relationship. Okay. So let's move on to uh, this could be the one and this death card. Let's find out why this death card is here. But this could be the one for Jenny. Oh, okay, that's fast. Yep. Optimism. Okay, very optimistic. Uh, looking forward to the future. Very positive when it comes to moving forward with this, um, with, with Jenny. Jeezy is feeling like, you know what, you know, anybody from my past, okay, he probably did his dirt. He probably did his thing, went back and felt like, this is different. This is different. I don't want to do her this way. I don't want to cheat on her. I don't want, you know, anybody from my past because if they were, they in my past for a reason. Okay, so he put a death to it. It's like he ended all of that, okay, because he felt like, you know what, this is the one, okay, you know, I feel like, you know, this relationship is different than any relationship I've been in, okay, which made him very optimistic about it, made him want to move forward in this relationship, okay, all right, so, let's see, let's pull from these decks, let's see what they'll tell us here, Okay. What can you tell us about the six of summer? Let's find out about who is this people who would be people from the past. What can you tell us about the six of summer spirit divine and Jimmy Mai and Jesus reading? What can you tell us about the six of summer? Okay. We have a mature woman here and high honors. Okay. So um so it speaks of someone from his past, people of romance from his past, um, which was a lover, okay? The mature woman is, show, you know, when it comes to, in this deck, the mature woman can be someone that's supportive, um, that's maybe a mother, a grandmother, okay? But since we're speaking about someone from your past, a romantic past, she represents a the lover, another woman, okay? You know, that, that may have held him in high honors, okay? Or he may have held her in high honors. Okay, he may in the past he may have went to bat for her, may have went to for war, to war for her. He really cared for this person in the past. Okay, but it seems like he put an end to this this relationship. Okay, this person from the past. Okay, let's see if we can find out more about this death card. Why is this death card here in Jimmy Ma and Jesus love reading? mature man okay now the mature man when it shows up in the reading with the mature woman that is someone that the mature man is seeing or dating okay so it's like the mature man you know put a death to this mature woman okay that he held at high honors or the return of people moment okay we're gonna get some clarification on this Okay, so it's showing a death to the mature, a, a death. The mature man put a death to the situation, put an end into it. He ended it. 
Okay, someone that he once held in high honors. Okay, what can you tell me about this could be the one? This could be one for Jenny and Jeezy's love reading. What can you tell me from this deck of saying this could be the one? Privileged lady. Okay, that's a lady that's that's uh, wealthy. A lady that you know that he he has he um looks at her as a very classy lady. Classy has her stuff together. Maybe come from money. Okay, um, well dressed, very well put together, beautiful. So I'm assuming this is Jenny here. Okay, the privileged lady. Okay, so he had he had somebody from his past that he once held in high honors that he thought, you know, was somebody that he could be with, okay, someone from his past that he may be looking at in, in a better or worse life, but he put an end to that, okay, because this could be the one, the, the privileged lady that he met, Jenny Ma, okay. Yeah. Okay, is there anything you can tell us about the Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? What can you tell us from this deck from the Nine of Swords and Jenny and Jeezy Blood reading? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? What can you tell us? A journey. Yeah. Because um, it speaks of, you know, it's safe to love. Okay. It, this was a whole journey for her. She had to move away from a situation that hurt her really bad. That caused a lot of pain. Okay. And, and it, this kind of, this kind of hurt could make it hard to love again, okay? But, you know, I guess the way that, you know, her and Jeezy started off their relationship, being very playful, you know, having fun with each other, they was able to slowly open their hearts up to each other, okay? You know, when it comes to this relationship. Okay. Let's see if we can find out more about this mature one. Okay, let's see. Who's this mature woman in this reading? In Jeezy and Jenny's. In Jeezy and Jenny's reading. Love reading. What can you tell us about this mature woman here? Okay. Ice King. Okay. Maybe somebody from his past, you know, that he wasn't too emotional with. Okay. You know, he probably cared for her, but he probably didn't show the type of emotion that he's showing here with Jenny. You know, he probably, you know, you know, the Ice King, you know, he's not a bad person. You know, he's he's brutal with his words sometimes, okay? You know, but he's but he's still a king. He's still a king. He just is not very much in touch with his um emotions. And then this woman probably looking at him on bikes with Jenny and singing and rapping and having a great time on Instagram. And she probably think, oh, wait, hold up. You, you, you wasn't like that with me. Okay. You wasn't like that with me. Yeah. You'll give me a little money here and there and all that. But you, you, as far as you putting me on the Instagram and having fun with me and riding bikes with me, we never rode a bike together. That's probably how she feeling. You know, probably feel like he was an ice cream to her. tell us about the privileged lady here what can we find out about the privileged lady here in this reading for Jenny and Jesus reading mm. twin flames wow so like this is a soul connection this is a, a connection that divinely got it okay this is somebody that um that they share the same soul. They share the same, you know, they reincarnated here to be together. Okay. And to learn a lesson from each other. Probably to learn to love. Wow. Okay. So Jenny is showing up as his twin flame. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull some of these cards here. find out about this hope card okay what's well, this hope card here and it's reading for jenny ma and jesus reading what can you tell us about the hope card here 
Okay, where did that card go? Oh, right here. Okay, it speaks of pure intentions. Okay. The hope card is here. Okay, the hope, hopeful in love. Okay, it's like they have pure intentions for each other. It says the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wish, your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Also, so when it came to hope, okay, they, they really had pure intentions for each other. Um, they really had, you know, they didn't have any malice intentions, okay? And it's like they manifested each other in, in their life. They manifest each other. And that's how you call in your twin flame. It's, it's all about your intention, setting your intentions and manifesting exactly what you want. And this person had, and Jenny, and maybe even him, because two people in this car, Jenny and um, um, Jeezy both had pure intentions, okay, and they manifested each other a true love into their life. What can you tell me about this start card here? Why is the start card here for Jenny and Jeezy's love reading? What can you tell me about the start card? All right. It speaks inspiration, okay? It says, be prepared as you will soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dust or done, she can call at any time. So, it's like, okay, so it's like he matured the man up, you know, when it came to this relationship. It's like she is his inspiration to be a man. It's like she is his inspiration to, to, um, to be the man that he always wanted to be. Okay. Wow. What can you tell me about this optimism card here? Why is this optimism card here? And this reading for Jenny and Jesus love reading. You know, they love each other. It's like they respect each other. They inspire each other, got pure attention when they come to each other. Okay. It's like they end anything, any cycles that's no longer needed in their life. Okay. They, you know, they have all the elements here to create a beautiful relationship here. You know, self will appear. But, you know, he put an end to that. You know, it's like he matured. He became a better man. Okay. The optimism card here says moon energy. It says, surrender to the natural ebbs and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, the fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Very optimistic about this moon energy. Okay, he was very optimistic about moving forward with Jenny. Okay, because in life, you're going to have your natural ebbs and flows. You're going to have your ups and downs, your peaks, your valleys. Okay, but it says, if you're feeling confused, the fairy comes to to calm your emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is very much possible. Okay. She gives him peace of mind. They said they have pure intention for each other. They inspire each other. They give each other peace of mind. She gives him peace of mind for sure. Okay. It's been a whole journey here to get here. It, it hasn't been just, you know, a simple situation because there have been some crying there's been some sadness okay along this journey okay but it said it's safe for them to love okay and they came back together okay with a, a union a twin flame union at that okay and they're very optimistic about moving forward with each other okay so let's get some divine energy here for them Okay. Okay, Divine Angel, what can you tell us um, to complete this reading for Jenny and Jeezy? Okay. What cards can you give um, concerning the relationship from this deck? Okay. What well, do you need to know about Jenny and Jeezy? Reading? Okay. Gonna take it. Trust. It says, "Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longing, trusting you and know exactly what how to handle it." So they trust each other. Okay. It says, "Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth, while also 
bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both, okay? Non-duality, okay? It's like they 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 have a spiritual connection, okay? They um they feel like they can be authentic to each other. They they can be authentic around each other. They can be themselves around each other. At the same time, they trust in God to the to to um guide them in this relationship, okay? In the child, it says, "Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one." Let me attend it to his deepest needs and feelings, okay? They they did inner child healing, okay? Because that's usually what twin flames have to do to get back together. So they, they healed their inner child, okay? They trust and they stay optimistic. They pray for each other, okay? They inspire each other, okay? They feel like they promote each other also, you know? She she allowed me, because he came in at the beginning as being kind of immature, Okay, but then at the end, he ended as a mature man. So, it's like he did a lot of healing work, okay? And it speaks of humanity. Humility, I'm sorry, humility. It says, allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistant. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it, okay? And they, and they, you know, they have humility also. They accept help from the divine to guide them in this relationship, Okay. So they're trusting the divine to lead them, okay? You know, they definitely are. Okay, so that concludes the reading for um Jeezy and Jenny My Jenkins, okay? Um, you know, they have a strong connection here, okay? And they'll you know, they trust in the divine to lead them in this in this relationship, okay? Um, they're growing together, you know, they're becoming better people. Um, in this relationship so that's a beautiful relationship so i want to thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video okay don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can always catch my hot videos when i put it out because as you see i'll be digging in deep y'all so thank you for tuning in enjoy the rest of your day bye